This is going to be a quick and dirty introduction to time tracks or time remapping in Cinema 4D. Start by adding an object to your scene. I'm just going to add a cube. At frame 0, add a keyframe. At frame 90, add another keyframe. And uh, let's say at frame 45 or so, we're going to add a third keyframe. And we're just doing this to give ourselves some animation to play with. Uh, as you can see, as we play from frame 0 to frame 90, we get an animation uh, from the origin off to somewhere else. Go ahead and switch over to your animation layout. So change from standard to animation. And once you've done that, go ahead and find your cube in your timeline. Right click on the cube and choose Add Special Tracks Time Track. And what you're going to get is a new track with two keyframes by default. The first is going to be for 0%, and the second is going to be set to 100%. And what this means is that uh, we're going to be progressing through time in a, a sort of a normal way, the way we would expect. We start at the beginning of time, and we end at the end of time. At the moment, this track is not affecting anything. Uh, in order for it to affect something, we have to assign this time track to different uh, animation tracks. So say we want to apply it to the position of our object. So click on position here and in the attributes manager the settings for this track are going to show up and you'll see that there is a time track uh, field. Drag your time track into there. So now when we press play whatever we do to this time track will affect our position. So uh, a fun thing to do might be to just hold down control and click to add a keyframe in the middle of our graph here and uh, reverse the handles a bit. So now when we go back to the beginning and press play, we go out and up, we swoop back, and then we go back out again. That is the basics of how the time tracks uh, work in Cinema 4D. Again, this was a really quick and dirty introduction just to show you the functionality. Okay.